So today I was on YouTube and I'm checking out some woman's uh, YouTube channel. Now she ain't got like a, although she got more subscribers than me, like she's got like just under a thousand subscribers, but she ain't got like a proper YouTube channel. It's more like, you know them people that have like a diary and they just kind of talk about their day and they just, it's not like, there's no structure to their YouTube channel. It's just more like, you know, it's just a diary kind of thing, whatever. And they just do like their daily vlogs or whatever. And so anyway, this woman was complaining about um, wanting to um, leave the country. She said, oh, I'm just sick of this country now, isn't it? Now, this video was about two months old, I think, or a month old, something like that. She's like, I'm just sick of this country. I just want to leave. I think I want to go to Africa. Now, I don't think she's African. I think she's Caribbean. But talking about, you know, this country is not for her or whatever, in it, yeah? So she wants to leave, whatever, and she thinks that if she goes abroad, things are going to be better or whatever, and yeah? she feels like she has no place in this country. In it. And before I get to the next part, the, the reason why she feels like she has no place in this country is because she's not making nothing of her life. I guarantee you, if she was living in a million pound mansion with 10K in the bank every month for the rest of her life, driving a Bugatti, yeah, and she had all the things she wanted in this world, but she was living in the UK, she wouldn't be thinking too, she wouldn't even think twice about flipping moving to Africa. Yeah? She doesn't want to move to Africa for the right reasons. Now, there are some black people they might be like from Jamaica or whatever, innit? and they want to go back to the motherland, yeah? That's cool, innit? Yeah, just make sure you go back to the motherland for the right reasons, innit? But she wants to go back to Africa because, again, she's running away from her problems. Now, one thing she she mentioned, right, that got on my flipping nerves, but I don't... Um, I mean, I don't leave nasty comments on people's... Uh, I wouldn't even say it's nasty, innit, yeah, but... I don't like to, because I feel like I'm going on there to pull people up. I ain't here to pull people up or nothing like that. Yeah. But if I go onto someone's YouTube channel and they say some stuff that I don't agree with, I can't, I don't, I don't come in there too harsh or like I'm judging them or whatever. In it, yeah. So basically the type of comments that I leave, right, I either leave um, const uh, constructive criticism or something like that, that type of comment, or I'll just say something general that, don't really mean anything. I'm not going to offend no one or whatever, in it. Yeah. So let's say, for example, I don't know, on that big me, uh, big e ego media entertainment, I left a couple messages on there, in it, and I said, oh, in ISIS, uh, between the age of 18 to 21, you would have been on uh, Thames. And then if you was 22 to 24, you'd have been on Meridian or whatever. In it. That's a general comment. No one's going to get no offended by that or whatever, in it. Yeah. Or... I might leave a comment like this, what I said on this woman's YouTube video. I said, you are not depressed because she was talking about, oh, you know, sorry, you are not oppressed because she said, oh, you know, we're oppressed or whatever. Yeah. So I just said, you are not oppressed. Yeah, We are not oppressed, should I say, actually. I put myself in as well. We are not oppressed. Now, what I really wanted to say is, motherfucker, yeah, you think by moving to Africa or this country or that continent, yeah, you're going to solve your problems. You are the fucking problem. Yeah, Stop projecting and stop trying to blame the government for the reason why your life is shit. You, your life is shit because you're making it shit. Yeah? You're in, I'm assuming she's from London. Yeah, car, I know accents or whatever. Yeah? She was actually a decently spoken black woman, but I can still tell she's from London. Yeah? She's in a place where there's many opportunities, yeah, but she's not utilizing them because she want to live a basic lifestyle, yeah. She don't want to get out of the comfort zone. That's what I really wanted to fucking say. But I ain't gonna go on people's channels and try to come across like I want to start wars and beef and that anyway. So I, I didn't, I didn't say that. I just said we are not oppressed. Just, just left that statement there. In, yeah? Like it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Yeah? Like. Yeah. These people, right? I don't know how old she was, like maybe 34 or something like that. I know she was older than me. These people are going to be teaching children, teaching them the wrong thing. They ain't, they, they ain't teaching them the right thing. They're going to be teaching children the wrong thing. And then their kids are going to grow up and have that same mentality. And then their kids and their kids and their kids. Yeah. Why do you think many of us, right? Like certain of us here might be second generation uh, British black born, yeah? 
I am, because my mum was born here, but my grandma was born in Jamaica. Certain people might be first generation because their parents are born in maybe Sierra, Sierra Leone or Ghana or whatever. Isn't it? So they're first, they're first born uh, English black, uh, British black here, isn't it? Yeah. But it's just, it just gets trickled down through the generations, through the generations and generations. I've seen man on a panel, you know, I saw a panel full of black people. It was on a white person's show, wasn't it? Yeah? It weren't this morning. It was a different show. I've never seen this show before. I ain't seen this show since. Yeah? But I could tell by the people that want it. I could tell it's probably like a popular show. Yeah? I just don't know the name of it. Right? There was an older black man. He's my uh, parents' age. Yeah? My parents are 40 years. Yeah? So they're getting old now, isn't it? <laughs> no disrespect to anyone who's watching this. He's 40 years. Yeah? But they were parents' age, right? And he comes from the 70s and the 80s. He comes from that era where Margaret Thatcher has shut down all the youth clubs and that, right? And those people still think they're living in those times. Yeah, It's almost like, uh, it's like a hangover from childhood. Yeah, It's something that they can't shake, right? And again, right, it's bullshit as well. Yeah, Just because Margaret Thatcher closes down the youth clubs, yeah, it doesn't mean it's an excuse to go out there and shoot and kill people, wouldn't it? But they've been, I can't say indoctrinated, but they've been programmed with that mentality that, oh, you know, because the youth clubs have been shut down, right, now the whole black community is, is fucked. And it's not like that, yeah? It's not like that, yeah? It's, it's, it's garbage, right? So anyway, he was on there. He has that mentality. He was even mentioning something about, oh, you know, when I was young, guys, so let's get stopped and searched by the police and that. And my son has been stopped and searched by the police and he's been rough handled. He had his son next to him. Now his son, although the guy was my mum's age, his son's probably a bit younger than me. Yeah, So maybe at the time, I don't know, maybe his son was probably about maybe 17 or something like that, right? Uh, this was a few years back or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. So his son was a bit younger than me. I'll say, let's say I was about 23 at the time, right? And the, the son's probably about 17. There was a few more other black people on the panel, right? And the decent black people, and not just some like trash off the street, like decent black people were on the panel, right? And there was one woman, um, I think she was a pastor, and her son was murdered. Yeah, I think he, he might have been murdered due to some gang violence, whatever. Isn't it? And basically, all of them were all in agreement with each other. Yeah, there was about four black people on this panel, right? Including including the teenage boy. And they were all in agreement that, you know, they, they, there's, there's some kind of oppression on the black community and the police are against us and the government's against us. And I'm just sitting around thinking, like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Like, you lot are sick. You lot are sick. I need to hurry up and get this book, The Poison Mine, out. It's, it's very difficult to write because I'm just literally freestyling. Mm -hmm. Now, in some ways, it shouldn't even be difficult because I've made videos on every single um, chapter that I'm going to write. So I think what I need to do, yeah, what I might do is the next time I start a chapter, which will be tomorrow, I'll probably just listen to one of the videos that I've made that's exactly like the chapter, and I'll just pretty much just copy and paste what I've said in those videos onto... Uh, in into the chapter. Now, don't get it twisted. I'm not a man out here who believes in copy and paste or taking the short route. It's my content, so I'm just basically writing down what I said. So what I said verbally, I'm putting pen to paper. In.